Most parents don't want to be bad parents, they just don't know how to be good parents. And many parents whose families are in difficulty may not have had a good experience of being children themselves. So the kind of projects, the kind of interventions that do encourage cohesion in family life are those focused on helping parents attach to their children, helping them to understand the baby's needs, show them affection and so on. And there are a number of interventions that can teach that kind of attachment and that's where I would start. And what we would like to see is, first of all, all of us, as we get older, thinking about how things are going to be when we are older still. When we are 90, what kind of home do we want to live in? And will we be close to our children, to our family and friends? Will we be isolated and lonely? Will the home be suitable for us? Will it help us, make us healthy and look after us? Or will the home reject us? Stairs and steps and cold in the winter. Home is terribly important to you in old age. We, and we all need to think about where. And if people don't feel that they have a home, a place of their own, a place where they feel safe, then they're not going to be able to contribute to wider society, whether it's in a paid employment situation or whether it's in a, a volunteering capacity, whether it's just being a, a good neighbour to other people. We can't do any of those things if we don't have this place called home. But the other thing I think that's really important is that stable homes um, provide that important first training ground for the next generation. And it's about how it's the children see service, they see love in action, and it's also the place preeminently where you get formation and education and attaining of the important life skills and life values. Policies in general, public policies, economic policies, social policies, impact families. I think we can learn a lot from that area. So there's a lot to be done in the research on this as well. Um, so quite a lot uh, of work to be done, but I think there is there is a growing um, understanding that we have to uh, be holistic when you talk, when we talk about social policies. So and and what is more holistic than looking at at policy from a family perspective. The Home Renaissance Foundation Conference is very essential, especially for PhD students, because it gives you that opportunity to talk about your research and see what other people are doing, especially if it's very much related to home and health and society. And it's also very important because obviously my confidence level has gone up <laughs> by two, three bars. <laughs> so it's very important as well to um, be able to go out thinking that oh, what you're doing is relevant and there's a lot of you know, societal impact attached to what you're doing. Well, uh, as we've just been hearing in the conference, um, it is really about a, a secure place where children can grow up, grow up, 
feeling they've got somewhere where there's regularity and order and where they are always welcome in good times and in bad times and uh, it's provision of a, of a nest really for, for all the people who live there and for most of all the kids.